welcome you up to the Ranger Chamber. It's now time for this week's News from the Grid. Hello Ranger Nation and welcome to News from the Grid, your weekly update of Power Rangers and Super Sentai news right here on the Ranger Chamber YouTube channel, the ultimate Power Rangers channel in the United Kingdom that also makes content for Power Ranger fans worldwide. Hello and hope you all have had a fantastic week. Um, we got quite a few articles to go through, not a lot, but you know what, we've got, we, let's just go with it shall we. So first of all, you know me, I'm Joe. And I'm joined by my incredible boyfriend. Hi, Ranger Nation. It is Gary here from the Ranger Chamber team. Can't wait to tell you what we've got. So, Joe, what have we got, dear? Well, I think the best thing to do is to kick things off with our main, main headline. headline. Yes, so our main headline for this week is the launch of Hasbro Pulse UK. <laughs> Oh, this is so amazing. We can't, we are so thrilled to have been like involved with the launch, with promoting it and things like that. And also, we had to report it today. So, um, so, Ranger Nation, so UK fans of, um, the United Kingdom, yes, we have got a Hasbro Pulse and it is very, very exciting. So on Wednesday this week, Hasbro Pulse launched its UK Pulse website where, where fans could, uh, fans in the United Kingdom can order um, premium products from many lines from Hasbro, including the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. So last month on the 25th of February, um, during the Hasbro Pulse in, in investor event, um, it was announced of a Hasbro Pulse launching um, the in the UK later this year, but fans would would have never have anticipated that it was it was that it was the launch on the that the launch was to be on the tenth of March this uh, at six pm this week. Awesome stuff. So it seems that so that's really exciting, Gary. Anything you anything you want to add to that? Yeah. I do. At this point, only Power Ranger products available on the website are the 8th and 9th of the Lightning Collection at the moment. At the moment. We're hoping for some other stuff to come in the near future. But um, they have added more products over time. And furthermore, if you sign up for Hasbro Pulse Premium before the 31st of March, which is later this week, for one year, oh, it's, yes. it, it's in. It's in like um. It's about. Uh, let me think. That's about one, two, about three weeks and three three weeks, three days time. So what? So what happens if they sign up at that time? What What happens if they sign up before the thirty first of March? You'll get a one year membership for Hasbro Premium, what? And it'll only cost you twenty pounds. Awesome. And guess what? We've got them. We've got our Hasbro Pulse UK premium memberships and we are very excited to be getting Hasbro Pulse exclusives. Now, obviously, a lot of fans are hoping that we'll be getting the Psycho Green and the Metallic Armor uh, Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger figure. I think... Um, I think this is really fantastic to be given the UK Hasbro Pulse website to give the UK fans the opportunity to get the Hasbro Pulse items. But it's like, um, if I knew about this, I probably wouldn't have bought, you know, bought from America my um, my two figures from Hasbro Pulse America to get them shipped to the UK through my US and such. I probably would have done it. But at the minute, I think, again, the only products on there, as Gary said, um, was waves eight and nine for the Power Rangers, excuse me, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. And yeah, so that should be really cool. So I guess in a way, this has been a sort of main news headline merchandise kind of, but this is obviously our main headline thing. Okay, Gary, um, why don't you take us over to our next uh, news segment? What is our next segment? Our next segment is TV movie news. And yes, we have some more Dino Fury behind the scenes. And if you, 
to the screen, you'll be able to see those pictures as we talk about them. Now, this is really, really awesome. Okay, so, yes, so, so Gary, tell us more about, so tell us what was, what's the news of these behind the scenes photos? That's week, Power Rangers producer Simon Bennett posted some behind the scenes from Power Rangers Dino Fury on his Instagram. Power Ranger based in Building Process, Dino Hinge, Buzz Blast Building and Process. Salon co Costume Test, Arena 62 with the throne, monitors and the Sporex machine in Sporex Prop. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let's let's have a look through all these pictures. So first, let's have a look at the now this image you see here is the image of the pine sort of the building process of the ranger base, the Dino Henge ranger base, which is literally underneath the Dino Henge. And it seems it's like a wood framework because all sets, when they get built, it starts out with the wooden frame and then they add all the different bits to it. But it's interesting to see um, how it starts. So, yeah, um, Gary, why don't we run through what's what's the next image we got for the Ranger fans? I can see here we've got the Buzz Blast building in process. Ah, uh, yes, so we've got another building image of them building the Buzz Blast um, uh, main set, as you That's can see. Which cool, is the, yeah, it is so cool. I mean, it's the, it's the stairs um, that you see where uh, Jane talks about shows off J-Borg and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. I actually like J-Borg. I really I like J -Borg. It, It's a very different, um, it's a very different kind of um, comedy duo yeah. with Jane and J-Borg. I, I think I think this is also the first time we've had two female comedy companions because, you know, we've had Bulk and Skull, Benny, um, we had Victor and Monty, we've had, um, uh, who else have we had? Bulk and Spike. Ben and Betty and and characters like that, um, and Cav and uh, Devon and Cassidy and Cassidy, is it Cassidy? Yeah, Cassidy. That's it. Cassidy and Devon. So yeah, you've got loads of these comedy duos. Okay, continuing on. Um, our next um image is this gorgeous image of the Dino Henge with the sunrise in the background through the trees. I think that is a very very nice photo and it's it was just and it looks really nice i love how that looks in the photograph so you know seriously simon thank you for sharing that photo with us it was really really lovely okay um gary um gary gary Ahem. gary yes we have the costume now for salon so basically um, it's a costume test, so it seems they are tested to see if the costume moves, if it, if it needs adjustments, seeing how it looks. So it's basically, I think this is probably the first time they looked. They were looking at the salon salon um, costume, so that's interesting. So I'm guessing that's that's um, the the person in the suit with one of the directors or something. Maybe I think that's what it is. Um, who knows? But it still looks cool. Interesting. So it's interesting to see um, that that's what that's what the salon costume looks like offset, you know, off the TV screens. Um, but yeah, salon is actually a really cool, like, um, mentor character. So it'd be interesting to see um, Mick and salon work, working together. But obviously, when does Mick come in? That's what I would like to know. Okay. Um, oh, is it me again? Yes, we do. Um, okay. I have got. We've got these different images from the villain's main base, which is Area 62, which was the secret base that Void Knight and Mucus found towards the end of the second episode, um, which was, uh, what's the second episode? I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> Sporex Unleashed. That's it. Sporex Unleashed. Thank you, darling. I'm glad one of us remembered. Well, so I've been like, watching it. I've been catching up on it online. So we got Destination Dino Henge, Sporex Unleashed, and obviously sig Lost Signal. So the images. So first of all, we have this image here. Now, I believe this is going to be um, Void Knight's throne. But it's interesting because it looks like it's made from an old car. It almost reminds me of Sledge's um, throne from Power Rangers 
uh, Dino Charge, do you think do you think it's possible that it's maybe a recycled? Maybe do you think it's recycled from that, Gary? I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. We're just going to need to watch the season and find out. Okay, Gary, what's our next image from Area 62? Well, if you'd like to turn your attention to the screen again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have the Sporix machine. Ooh, the Sporix machine. Interesting. So do this you remember, is... and by the way, this is a spoiler, so I do apologise. At the end of the episode, um, when, um, what's the mushroom monster Mucus. called? Mucus. Mucus and um, Void Knight were in the capture and they were putting one of the, the what you call it, the Sporvix okay. eggs in, into the machine. I thought that looked so cool. If... No, because it doesn't look like an egg, does it? I mean, I know they say that Sporvix bees hatch from the eggs. So it's like, could you really call it a, um, do you think that you, you could call it a... Um... I call it a jelly egg. It looks like jelly to me. Well, funny enough, we actually do have an image of a prop Sporex. So it's interesting to see you've got the computer animated ones and then you've got this, this one, which you see on the screen, which is the prop version that you they would use to be held in their hand. So that's really mm-hmm. cool. And then last of all, our last image is these, it's just these monitors. So um, it's just monitors that they probably use to monitor the city and monitor finding Sporex beasts or things like that. Who knows? Um, but it's still interesting. It's a really cool base. I actually quite like it, this Area 62. It's but it's a sort of very alien-y sort of um, UFO sort of thing. I think it's the right kind of setup. And you think it's funny that Mucus thinks that the Sporex machine was a jukebox. <laughs> to be honest, a lot of fans... That's what I thought it was! That's what I thought it was! Me too. I think a lot of us thought it was a jukebox. And yes, so that is all the um, so that's all the images. And Gary, I believe you have a little bit of Donna Drew episode notes of when I do. episode four is coming out. I do. Unfortunately, yesterday America did not get the episode because they're on a wee tiny break. But they will commence next weekend on Saturday at eight o'clock on Nick TV for episode four of Dino Fury. Awesome stuff. I'm looking forward to episode four because this is the episode where we get introduced to Izzy and Jarvi, the green and black rangers. Looks like we're going to get our debut of those two rangers. It's going to be so awesome. And just to throw something else into the Dino Fury mix, we do actually finally have the Dino Fury action figures. Awesome stuff. We have got Red Ranger. We have got pink ranger we have got blue ranger and we have finally got a uh, boom tower <laughs> and of course if you check out the link in the description below you can check out the toy review of these figures so th- this is really really cool and i'm loving this i'm really happy that we finally got these figures and big massive thank you to amazon.com for getting all those figures in stock and getting them sent to us so quickly so thank you has uh, thank you uh, thank you amazon. We, were, we were on the phone the night you ordered them and then your dad said oh son you've got a delivery like literally like the day after you ordered them and you're like gary there's a parcel and i'm like I don't think it. I don't think it was a next day delivery, my darling. I think it was literally. Yeah, like... it, it was definitely next day. You bought them on a Thursday, and they came to you on a Friday. I'm pretty sure of it. No, they came I pretty quick. I I can't remember when they came, but I know we posted about it the day they arrived. I did make a post on the Ranger Chamber Instagram and Facebook and Twitter to let fans know they're here. So, I think that would have probably that would have been this week. Yes, I think they arrived this week. So, yeah, they arrived earlier this week because we did, I did the review on Monday. Yes, because they arrived, they arrived Monday. They arrived on Monday this week. Then I recorded the review and then got it up literally on the either Tuesday or Wednesday. So, yeah, awesome stuff. So, moving on to our next seg- next segment of the news, it's Super Sentai. So, yeah, Super Sentai news. And to be expected, yep, it is all about Zenkaija. Because this week, well, 
technically this week, last week. On Sunday last week, Zenkaija finally aired in Japan. It finally premiered. So, on the 7th of March last Sunday, the long-anticipated 45th anniversary Super Sentai season, Kika, Kikai Sentai Zenkaija, finally aired in, tele, on television in Japan. The series itself has had mixed comments on social media, but most seem to be positive towards the one human, four robot ranger team. The theme of the series is is a, tri a tribute to past Super Sentai teams and their past mechas. So, it's, it, I mean, as you re recall, we've talked about how each of those four robot rangers represented a past Megazord. So, from so the red the red ranger was representing the Daijujin, which is the um, Zhu Ranger um, Megazord from the 16th Super Sentai season, Koryu, Koryu Sentai Zhu Ranger, which is the 16th Super Sentai. Then we have the um, Gao King. So the Yellow Ranger is based on Gao King, which is the Wild Force Megazord. By the way, the other one was Mighty Morphin Dino Megazord, in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay, so Gao King is Wild Force Megazord, and that is the... Uh, what, what number was Gal Ranger? That was the 30th, I believe, the 30th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. No? 20, no, 20th? 25th? 20, it was either 20 or 25th. I do apologize if I got that wrong. Then we have um, the pink pink robot ranger character that's supposed to represent the Magi, I think it's Magi King, I believe, Magi King, the titan megazord from power rangers mystic force who's the pink one and then obviously the i don't boken i think it's bokenja uh or benko bokaio for the operation overdrive drive max megazord japanese counterpart for the blue one again i apologize it's been a long time since i've seen these super sentai seasons okay but yeah as far as we know, the toys are also out now in Japan, and you can get them from a lot of places. Um, like, I think you can get them from places such as, well, obviously you can find them on eBay, no doubt. Um, we also believe Tukri Toy Store has them now, um, if you're in the UK, so it's worth going checking them out. But obviously we'll leave a link in the description below to their website, so you can go check them out. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so we got one more. So we got other news. And Gary, I believe I'm passing this one over to you. So what is our other news? Well, one of our fellow SPD Ranger actresses, Michelle Langford, is having a baby. Yes, she's pregnant. And we would like to wish her a very con big congratulations to her. Yes, it is amazing because this week we learned that Power Rangers SPD actress Michelle Langstone, who played Cat Manx in Power Rangers SPD, and Master Gwen in Power Rangers Jungle Fury is pregnant. So, and Michelle posted this picture onto her Instagram, and fans were very quick to congratulate her on her incredible news. And I, and from, and from behalf of all of us here at Ranger Chamber, Michelle, congratulations on your pregnancy. We cannot wait to report the news of when your baby is born. It's going to be amazing. Oh, wow. This has been really great fun. But before we wrap up, you know what time it is. It's time for Ranger Highlight of the Week. I love doing that. Anyway, so our Ranger Highlight of the Week. Well, I think it's fair to say our Ranger Highlight a range of highlight, highlight, highlight this, highlight this. <laughs> okay, um, Gary, do we have one each, or do we pretty much agree on the same one for this? I week? think we agree on the same one. I do, but we always say it's always our headline. But come on, how can you not be excited about Haswell Paul's finally in the UK? Come on. It's awesome. I cannot wait. And it's so cool that we both got the Hasbro Pulse premium membership as well. So we're going to have that for a whole year. And it only cost us £20. Amazing. Love it. And it is so exciting. And we can't wait for all the Hasbro Pulse exclusives to come out. It's going to be absolutely more phenomenal. And I think it's fair to say, well, that's it. So we just like to say, Thank you so much for watching Ranger Nation. Don't forget, if you've got any Power Rangers or Super Sentai news, whether it be mainstream news or even fan news, 
all you have to do is send us a message on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, uh, where other places can you contact us, Gary? I don't know. <laughs> well, Google, well, email, Facebook. Look, anywhere you can contact us, it's all in the description below. And as always, please remember, Ranger Nation, to like the video, share the video. Share the video. And comment, comment below. And your question of the day is, what is your favourite article about today uh, through News on the Grid? And your second question is, what do you hope to see on the Hasbro, pa um, Hasbro Pulse UK in the Power Rangers um, collection on their website? And of course, as always, all one, two, three, go, go, subscribe. <laughs> Yes, because we've got many more videos coming out right here on the Ranger Chamber YouTube channel where the more phenomenal fun never ends. <laughs> okay, so it's a goodbye from me, Joe from the Ranger Chamber team. Thank you so much for watching Ranger Nation. Have a fabulous week. We hope to see you back here at 6 p.m. same time next week, next Sunday. And it's goodbye from my fabulous co-host. Bye, Ranger Nation. Have a nice night. Okay, so... Okay, just remember, Ranger Nation, may the power protect you. Have a more phenomenal day. We are Joe and Gary from the Ranger Chamber team, and that was News from the Grid. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, Gary, that was awesome.